All right, so we caught wind of a book sale. And the way the book sale was going to work was you bring your own bag, and for $5, you can fill the bag, no limit. And, you know, so we brought some bags, and we're like, okay, we'll take a look. Maybe we'll find something. Yeah. We ended up getting hundreds of books. Yeah. And, you know, I don't talk about price too often, but obviously I just told you. Yeah. We got five bags, so this is $25. For everything, for everything you, see, you here, see here. To include these over here on the side and on the floor. Yeah. Not and the bins. But, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> but just uh, taking a look at some of what's here. I mean, obviously, she went nuts with the Hardy Boys and Nancy Drew. Yeah, I'm collecting Hardy Boys, Nancy Drew, and Boxcar yeah. Children. Oh, yeah, the box. I didn't yeah. even know she grabbed those. Those were books that I read yeah. in elementary school. They um, they had us reading these books. So my goal was to, to get as many Nancy Drew Hardy Boys, Boxcar Children as I could. And uh -huh. every time I went to Goodwill, I would pick one up. And I ended up with like five or six, and half of them are the same issue. So here, I know I'm going to have several um, duplicates, so I'm going to go through it, and I'm going to make piles and see how much it I have. So this is basically my, that's really all I cared yeah. about. Now this, this I actually bought with somebody in mind. These are, uh, what, three? Rual doll. It's really three, because two of them are the same. All the book. same. Um, Three Ru Ruol Dahl books, and as we know, he's getting canceled or got canceled. Yeah, the publisher is going to change the wording in, in his uh, children's books to be non-offensive, yeah. which is ridiculous. And Ruol Dahl, if you know anything about the author, was could could have even a violent temper over anyone editing his work. Yeah. So if he was alive... Yeah, so I'm going to contact yeah. the person I have in mind, but I think David told me they already got those books. So, Also, also. lots of um, like dime novels, if you will. Great stuff here. A mm -hmm. lot of Edgar Rice Burroughs. This is Stan Lee's Doctor Strange. A oh, lot wow. of Tarzan. Herbie the Love Bug. <laughs> I saw the movie of Herbie. They had a few films. It was yeah. a D Disney classics. But lots and lots of Edgar Rice Burroughs, Tarzan, and this and that. Uh, gee, and they're numbered, so I'm wondering, God, do I have a whole set of these or what? Yeah, but close to it. For the price, I mean, this whole pile didn't even fill a bag. So no. just kept going and kept going. And these uh, these old pulps are great. They don't cost a lot anyways. I mean, they're probably worth, like, honestly, um, eight, ten bucks a piece. But still... Isaac Asimov's science fiction magazine. <laughs> Who remembers these? These are from the 90s. And that's just cool. Yeah. And then uh, comic books. They did have some. Yeah. Comic. That's the oldest one I, I found. I think so, yeah. Um, but they did have some. I tried to grab as many uh, Batmans as I could. They are newer, but I grabbed Some, a them lot of anyway. Them are, but you know, yeah, I that's them not anyway. that's uh that's an old one. Mm -hmm. But for, I mean, uh, for the price, yeah, I mean, you fill up a bag. These comics didn't even yeah. dent the bag. A lot of composition notebooks. Yeah, I use those a lot because I do a lot of writing and journaling. Yeah. So and I bought those. They're all empty. Yeah. This is a really now that, great find. I was so happy to find because really as you all early know, editions mm -hmm. of Johnny Gruel of Raggedy Ann and Andy. And of course, she's a fan. Yeah. And I'm going to read that. And I was flipping through and I'm like, wow, look at how many words in this book. And for a children's book, yeah, a lot of that's dialogue. Very wordy for a children's book. And it's not like big words. It's like, you know, the, the, the font is not big, yeah. it's small. So. Some Jan Brett, and we love the Jan Brett because her artwork, her artwork is, is fantastic. Amazing. And the stories are good. We have a few. Um, I, I only yeah. found two, and I know one of them we have. I don't think we have this Goldilocks, but yeah. the other one that I found we do have, but I got it anyway. Some other uh, children's, children's titles. Children's titles. Oh, yeah, Peter Pan and the Indians, they won't reprint that one. No. Uh, classic Sesame Street. Baron Stain, A -I, a I N guys, because people people argued with me about that um, that special I put up. It is A I N, 
Mm-hmm. Not, uh, not E. Charlie Brown's Encyclopedia. Giant golden book of elves and fairies. That's cool. Yeah. That looks really nice. And then the uh, the artwork in here is really nice too. Yeah, that's amazing. It's just good detail. Mm-hmm. Oh, here it is. Goldilocks and the Three Bears Jan. Oh, okay, yeah, that's the Goldilocks. Like her, um, just just the detail and the coloring and everything. Yeah, look at that. Look at that bear. Let me zoom in. She got like a, every fur. Yeah, she's a really good artist. Yeah. And I found a few of her books at Goodwill. That's how I um fit, found out yeah. about her. I saw one of her books at Goodwill and I um picked it up and I flipped through it and I was like, this artwork is amazing. I bought the book because of the artwork. That's my Batman. Oh, look at this. Oh yeah, some Care Bear, Care Bear titles. titles. You know I love Care Bear. Some more, more children's, children's books. Um, the golden books, Dr. Dr. Seuss, Seuss and all of that. Because he's getting canceled. Yeah, so you, you got to get your hand on actual physical media, media. because yeah. these people are getting canceled. And um, they're reprinting it and they're taking half of the stuff out. Yeah. So you're going to miss out. Okay. That's fine. Lots of manga. Yeah. That's all manga through here. And it's like half of it is is in Japanese. And half of it is English titles, but there's tons of this. Um, I don't know how complete some of these are runs. Oh, that's something else. That's like a novel, but you know, whatever. Yeah. I don't care. The uh, <laughs> <laughs> some of these are runs. Some of these are individual titles. But I think there's more English ones than there are Japanese. But yeah, great. I mean, can you imagine filling a whole bag with these for, five for just five dollars? Mm -hmm. It's uh, unbelievable. Yeah. Great deals. This one got me. Look at these old Nintendo Power magazines. Yeah. Those are cool. People collect those. So the, you the know. The postmarks in New York. These were mailed to New York. I wonder how they ended up out here. Yeah, way in Georgia. Yeah, I know. But yeah, Nintendo Power, that's getting popular. A lot of people have been looking for those. Mm -hmm. Some other stuff there, more manga related things. And that's a Batman manga. Yeah. The complete NES collector's book and ultimate guide. It's got all of information about all of their cartridges in here. Wow. That's neat. Yeah, you have people that collect or those. Or SNES, old. but yeah, still. People collect um, those video game cartridges so they might want the book. Yeah. So. But that's, um, you know, just sharing that. That's, you know, we enjoy this kind of stuff. Yeah. And that's a great find. Yeah, so we're going to go through it and divide it up and see what are duplicates. I know for me, whatever is duplicate, I'm going to try and um, unload. But yeah, this is amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Just want to show, I mean, these are the bags I bring, you know. This is hers. <laughs> <laughs> my laundry bag for my military days. <laughs> this is the one she brings. And then uh, they were like, well, we'll let you do it once with that bag, but, you know. Yeah, we, we really didn't feel comfortable with that bag, with a bag that size. Because yeah. on, the, on the thing, we found them on Facebook. Yeah. And it says you can fill a bag, but not a trash bag. Uh -huh. So I grabbed that. I'm like, it's not a trash bag. <laughs> <laughs> they let her get away with it once. Yeah, anyways. once. Not that anybody was there. Here's yeah. the trick, too. You think people would want to come to a book sale? No. There was we were the only two people there. Yeah, everybody else was employees because it was a warehouse. Yeah. And I it guess it was like a it's it looked like a fulfill, like an Amazon fulfillment center, honestly. It, it did because um you come in and in the front is where the books were Just, that they were selling. Yeah. And nobody was there, so I walked to the back. It is a and, you know, there's a doorway yeah. and then it went back like fifty yards. And it was like a million shelves full of books with like tags. Um, tags 
tags you know, on it and yeah. people were filling up and I'm like hello and they're all walking by excuse me people are walking not walking talking to me with a, with a cart yeah and, not and scanning and fill, putting books in I guess they thought I was a new employee or something yeah. they didn't even say uh, can I help you and then the one guy came out oh, he was the like sales up front right here yeah, yeah he was like don't go back there that's our online sale yeah. but everything is here and in this other room so they had all non fictions in one section uh, fictions in the or, other yeah. and um you know they didn't have a kind of they did kind of have a system um like all children was in one spot all novels like stephen king clancy and all of that was in yeah. one spot so they, they you could tell they were trying to put something together but, but um hey you could grab whatever you wanted to grab yeah apparently <laughs> Uh, books are not that popular. No, they're not. Unfortunately, and, uh, but we love them. Yeah, and they are going in the PC, as they say. <laughs>